how to connect with the healing anointing for your healing and restoration part 5 Luke chapter 4 verse 18 the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good news glad tidings of good things to the poor he has sent me to heal the sick who are broken at the cause of sickness and disease to proclaim freedom deliverance and liberty to the captives he has sent me to preach recovery or restoration of life of sight to the blind he has sent me to set at liberty those who are oppressed to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord the assignment is to solve problems the assignment is to meet needs apart from preaching the good news to the poor every other thing is like even that is stop poverty to be poor is bad it's evil to be poor the destruction of the poor is their poverty. If poverty is to destroy the poor, go and stop poverty. That's the same. The anointing that delivers the poor from poverty, which is good news, is to help the poor not just see what they need, but be empowered to do the needful. Chapter 8 of Deuteronomy and verse 18. It is the Lord thy God that gives you power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which is war, unto your fathers as it is this day. He gives you power. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. He has empowered me. He has sanctified me, consecrated me, set me apart, released me, commissioned me, given me power to execute his agenda upon the earth. So, the power is for your good. God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good, stopping devils and evils, and healing the sick of every sickness and of every disease, because God was with him. Jesus came anointed, and everywhere he went, the results were the same. The same results. He went about doing good. The same result. Because people have the same problems everywhere. There are people who are sick. People are poor. People are bound as captives. People are blind. People are deaf. People are dumb. People are lame. Some are diseased. Some are having demons attacking them. People are suffering as slaves, imprisoned. Some are destitute. Some are naked. Some are barren. We are here to solve problems and meanings. How can you connect with the healing power that God has given us? You must receive those he sent. Those who rejected Jesus Christ lost out. In the book of Luke chapter 9 from verse 1, Jesus called his 12 disciples together, gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. He sent them forth to preach the kingdom of God, preach the coming of the kingdom of God, the power of God and the glory of God. That's the message. Tell them God's kingdom has come. Prove it by engaging his power to heal the sick, cure diseases, cast out devils, perform miracles, perform wonders, perform signs. Go and meet their needs. Go and solve their problems. Go and destroy their destroyers. Whatever is meant to destroy them, terminate such things. That's the assignment. Listen, we are not here to talk enticing words of man's wisdom. Maria Kruktapa, Nikola Tizania. We are here to demonstrate the spirit of God and the power of God to everyone who will receive us. I cannot give you what I have if you reject me. It doesn't happen that way. Jesus got to Nazareth. His own people rejected him. He was despised and rejected. A man of sorrow. Acquainted with grief. He came with the answers to their questions. He came with the provisions for their needs. He came with the power to crush all of their enemies. Yet they rejected him. Manakula Pratania. To as many as received him. To them, God has given power to become his sons. People that cannot be messed up by the devil. Receiving Jesus Christ empowers you for you to be empowered by God to live like God upon the earth. Nanaro Kapadia. 
Nani ya kulika tu skato na baradi. May today mark the turning point you have long desired. All you need is for God to open your eyes to receive his messenger. Your problems will be over. He called them, gave them power and authority over all devils, over all demons, over every problem causer. He gave them power and authority to operate in his class as his ambassadors. That's how he said me. To deal with the enemies attacking them and to cure diseases. He sent them forth to preach the kingdom has come and then to prove it by healing the sick. He said to them, take nothing. Take note. Take verse 3. Luke 9 verse 3. Take nothing for your journey. Neither staves nor script, neither bread nor money, neither have two cause of peace. And whatever house you enter and they receive you, there abide and from there depart. They receive you, they house you, they clothe you, they give you those things he said not to carry. You are not going to fast and pray. They will give you money, give you food, give you everything you are looking for. They will give to you. And whosoever will not receive you, when you go out of that city, shake off the very dust from off your feet for a testimony against them. Verse 6, and they departed and went throughout the towns, preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. Healing everywhere. That's the result. They went and preached and they healed everywhere. Jesus said to them, carry nothing. Don't carry anything. Just go. I've empowered you. Every laborer is worthy of his wages. Every laborer. You don't need to carry anything. Just go. I have given you power to address their needs. I've empowered you to solve their problems. But for them to qualify, they must receive you first. If they reject you, shake off the dust. It will be worse for that place than for Sodom and Gomorrah. That means they will suffer. Many are suffering today because of rejecting God's messengers. Yes, there are many who are clowns today. There are many who are self-sent. There are many who are impostors. There are many who are frosters. Yes, that there are many does not mean that the legit, genuine ones are not there. You only need to identify them. You only need to identify them. How? Ask God. There's nobody who will ask that will be told. Even if you go to a herbalist, herbalists who are real herbalists knows those who God has sent. So what I'm telling you, even if God cannot tell you, ask your herbalist. They will tell you this one, now this one, a man of God. Though. So don't feign. I don't know. If you don't know, pray to God. If you're a child of God, God will tell you. If you are not a child of God and you serve the devil, ask the devil. They will tell you who God has sent. When Christ came, the devil said, this one, we know who you are. You are the Holy One of God. The devils know who is who. Ask it. Go and ask God about me. Or ask the devil about me. They will tell you. If God tells you, don't play with me. Receive me as you will receive God. Receive me as you will receive Jesus now. And I'm telling you, you don't need any prayer to be free from every problem. If you don't know God, you know the devil, ask the devil. Go to any, if you know the native doctors, so rehabilists, they, they know who is who. <laughs> the demon said, we know, we know Jesus, we know Paul. This one, we don't know who are you. They know, if you go to them, they will tell you. So, if they tell you, receive that one. Even if you're herbalist, you are tired of him. And you don't know how to get free, how to be loose, how to be free. Go to them. Please, who is a genuine man of God in this town? They will tell you. Go to that man, you'll be free from their evil trap. Don't sit and say no. Not every man of God is a fraud. No, they are legit ones. They are those who are not legit. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. The Bible says in Philippians 3, 18 and 19, many are preaching. I weep when I think about them. Their God is their belly. Their glory is their shame. Their end is destruction. 
because they put their minds on earthly things. So there are preachers whose goal and ambition is just what they can get out of ministry. That's why they're ministry. Don't worry, time shall tell. Don't bother about them. Ask God who in this nation, in this state, in this town where I live, who in my region is a genuine called and sent man of God. Ask, God will tell you. If you can ask God, ask your native doctors or your herbalists, they will tell you. They will tell you. Because the devils know. Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Promise of honor, I know. But who are these ones? Ask him. If, if you hear from them and you know who God has sent, please go to that person. Receive them. Find how you can partner with them in dispensing of their work. That will be the last prayer you will ever pray in life. To have your knees met by God. If you discover one that you know legitimately, this le, legit, this God, this one God has said, please partner with that person. Find out how can you be part of the ministry. Receive that one. If you can house him, house him. If you can clothe him, clothe him. If you can feed him for one day at your level, do so. Is any way you enter and they receive you willingly. They give you willingly, receive what they have and then free them from every problem. Because I have giving you my power and authority that God gave me, media needs. Whatever God can do, he has sent me to do. You cannot receive me and suffer. Aya! Never, forever. Listen, all of your days of challenges are over. Mia karuta. Ekrupraktania. Leko. Tarizade. Makwane parido. Diakanto seke kaluda. Marito pragda sinahola. Every challenge of life that the devil has imposed on you today marks their end. I speak peace into your life. I speak peace into all that concerns you. Be free from all the evil works of the devil in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Be blessed. Send it there for you. I'm expecting your testimony. Confirm from heaven and do the needful and be free from prayer points or be the prayer point. <laughs> God bless you. I will see you in our next video. Peace.